but some of these quizzes, uh, we're doing, uh, we're doing Walking Dead this time, love this, uh, love this franchise, um, this is one of my, uh, even though it's gone downhill a bit, I, I think it's starting to take a little bit back up, uh, kind of, but I'm looking forward to seeing how they wrap it up, they only got one season left, uh, coming up kind of soon, actually, I think in, like, a few, couple months, uh, but, yeah, I'm, uh, this is one of my all-time favorite franchises, I uh, recently watched Black Summer, which the review for that should be out for the season review. Um, so make sure to check that out if it is out. If not, it's going to be coming out next week instead. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's uh, let's get started. We'll start with, uh, you know, good old BuzzFeed quiz here. Uh, personality, oh, another personality quiz, god damn it. <laughs> uh, we'll review which Walking Dead character you are. Oh, but this one doesn't have the uh, 100% uh, guarantee, so we'll we'll see if it's actually good. What's your favorite color? Well, these are... Okay, <laughs> these are uh, like not colors really. These are balloons, but uh, I mean this this looks really nice though. Maybe that that. But I think I'm saying this because of the background. I don't think I'm saying this because of the color. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, but the leaves are really green. I love if you get a dark green or like a nice maroon, like a forest green kind of or a maroon. I love them. Love the colors. But forest green is a beautiful color. Love that. Uh, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, skeleton day, okay. Uh, present day, uh, Easter Bunny, uh, Valentine's Day. I don't really celebrate any of these. <laughs> um, like these, yeah, no, I don't really celebrate any of these, but maybe, maybe that one, because I loved it as a kid. Um, Christmas is really nice, though, because you get to see family, kind of, like, I mean, I used to, at least, but, uh, Choose your favorite sunset picture. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. These are beautiful. Wow, I gotta go to some of these places, man. I've seen gorgeous sunsets, but this is incredible. That red one, or maybe that one. One of these. Ah, oh, that's just so picturesque. That's amazing. What friend are you in the friend group? Obviously the funny one. Uh, not the... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not the wild one. Um... The responsible one, maybe, uh, maybe that one, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I think in my friend group there's funnier, smarter, and more wild people than me, so that's kind of the default one, uh, what's your favorite music genre, uh, I, I just kind of like all genres, you know, I'm not, I don't really have a specific, except, I mean, EDM is okay, like, I, I've grown on it a bit, uh, used to not like it whatsoever, and my brother used to love it, so, but, um, maybe some hip-hop. Daryl Dixon, you know, I would, I, I thought if I selected country, it would have been Daryl, but, interesting, that's interesting. Okay, I like that, I like that option, because he's one of my last favorite characters left, he's also one of the last OGs, um, but yeah, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's continue, so we got Daryl on that BuzzFeed one, uh, we got Thor on the last BuzzFeed for the, uh, for the Marvel one, but, so this is the, we're going to do that one last, actually. Let's do the How Stuff Works. Um, scroll to start quiz. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, how would your friends describe you before the apocalypse? Okay. <clears throat> before the apocalypse. Uh, I like to consider myself kind, just in general. So, um, what would you have been if the apocalypse never happened? An art curator. You know, I did take those two honors art classes, so maybe... Maybe it could have been that. Stay at, oh, that would be that'd be nice. Just stay at home with your kids, you know, take care of them. Make sure they grow up to not be serial killers, the good old stuff. Police officer. Uh, some, some sort of law enforcement would be cool. Survivalist, probably not, even though it would be so sick. To, I used to do Cub Scouts uh, and Boy Scouts, and it would always be awesome to go and, like, camp and, like, learn how to tie knots and, like, use our pocket knives and everything like that. Uh, but I don't think I would be a survivalist. Um, these are some very limited options. Realistically, it's probably between one of those, unless I want to launder some money. Uh, but <laughs> we'll uh, I'll do stay at home parent. I think that would be kind of nice. What's the first thing uh, you do when zombies attack? Uh, I abandon the children, obviously. <laughs> uh, what's the first things you do when your zombies attack? Stuff stock up on some weapons isn't a bad idea. Hide your your. I feel like you'll eventually like just run out of food. I think getting out of town. You go and find a farm for two, for one season, uh, and then you go and you find some prison for maybe a couple seasons, like one and a half. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, 
I feel like just so many people die by getting their family. But if I'm a stay at home, if I'm a stay at home dad, then I can get most of my family right there. So maybe get your family. Stocking up on some weapons is a great idea though, because it always ends up being like in the in the short term, it's always you need the food, the water, the shelter. But realistically, if you have the weapons, you can you can force your way. You you can. Um, either get out of town or get your family. One of those. I think. Uh, basically, what I'm deciding between is like, do I want to die or do I want to survive? Um, yeah, I think maybe, maybe they get your family one. So I don't know if I could live with myself if I just let them, if I didn't even try. If it's like so clear that I can't get to them that they're already gone, then maybe I'll get out of town. But if it's like starting to happen, you know, the waves are kind of coming in, like the beginning of Walking Dead, then then I would get family and, and then bail uh, and then find a stuff somewhere. Anyway, uh, but where will you go? This is interesting. I, I don't think the city, you might go to the city, like, once everything's kind of died down a bit, um, just because you could, but maybe not, not, neither of those, it's one of these, uh, I think the forest is on, honestly a great answer, the coast could be interesting, but I just think it's too, if you're in the forest, yeah, they can come at you from all sides, but you also have multiple exits, versus if you're on the coast, it's kind of, this one just provides more shelter. I think the coast is kind of limiting because you're just obviously your backs to the water. Like, the, I guess they can't swim, but that's kind of, it's an iffy, iffy situation. Uh, what's one thing you would bring with you? A picture album, a family area, like, get the gun. Not, okay, realistic, like, yeah, it'd be nice these. Money at this point doesn't matter. These things really, really don't matter. Maybe the heirloom, but yeah, no, a gun, of course. Uh, which one of these is most important during a zombie apocalypse? Weapons, food and water, shelter, medical supplies. Uh, I was just talking about this, I guess. Like, food and, food and water and shelter are probably very important early on. And then the weapons, be, like, really start ramping up uh, in that middle. Not really, yeah, maybe middle area. But the the medical supplies could be crazy. But if you don't have weapons, you can't defend any of these things. Because especially early, early on, people are going to come for these. People are coming for those. Uh, what kind of weapon has your name all over it? A crossbow could be cool. A knife is obviously easy. I don't think a sword, as much as I love swords, I don't think a sword just because it would be too unwieldy, like it'd be tough to use, you know? Um, either, a, maybe a gun. A gun could be, I mean, it's just too loud. I, mean, I think a crossbow, you know, yeah, a crossbow or a knife, one of those. But I think at least with the crossbow, you can be far range. If you want to get close, you can bash it over the head, so yeah. Uh, which of these vehicles would you ride around on during the apocalypse? M maybe a minivan? Minivan or horse, I think motorcycle just makes a bit too much noise. Walking, you're just a bit too exposed. So I think maybe a minivan just so you don't have another mouth to feed. Uh, which of these locations do you think could have lasted the test of time? Okay, nice. Um, Alexandria, uh, the prison, Herschel's farm, the road. Okay. I think Alexandria has been going a pretty strong, well, what, there's like three or four seasons they've been in Alexandria, but they're, you know, doing different things. I think Alexandria is a solid one, uh, but obviously that's late stage, like later stage. I think Herschel's farm could have been legit if that one helicopter, for some reason, didn't like show up. And like, that, that was a really weird way for this to fall, but you know, is what it is. Uh, I think the road is kind of a stupid one, no matter what the Fear of the Walking Dead uh, people say in season four, but uh the prison's a solid one. I just think it's so dreary. But it's so it's it's protected unless someone rolls in with a tank for some reason. <laughs> so I mean all realistically, all three of these are very good options. This one's a bit too exposed, I think, like compared to these two. So I think either Alexandria or the prison. Uh, I think the prison's just a bit more protected and it also offers some of the same stuff because you can still like grow crops and everything there. They were doing really well there until someone found a tank with shells in it for some, somehow. How open are you to strangers joining your group? Uh, I test them before they can join. I'm very wary of new people. I let them join, but I keep two eyes on them. I'm pretty open to it. Okay. If I got my established group, we've been here for a while. Same with Alexandria. Like, we've been here for a while. We're chilling. We're doing our thing. Sorry. You're not invited. <laughs> you're really not. I'm, I would be very wary of new people because I got my set people. Like, that's it. Maybe maybe morally, that's not the right thing to do because you should be embracing. But, like, you've survived. I, I just, it always it bugs me so much when I see these characters. Like, you've lived for three years in this apocalyptic, crazy world. Four years. Ten years. Who, like, that, like, it's insane. And then you decide, just like, 
spoilers like like with Carl for example like when he died in like a few seasons back it's like it was so annoying to me because I'm like I understand he was going through stuff and he was like having this like crisis of faith moment I guess with just everything but it's like it was so annoying that he just helped someone random guy out and died in like the stupidest way like oh you got bit somehow like I don't know it's just sorry I'm just I'm just getting pissed at the show now but yeah I'd be very wary of new people um may- maybe I'd test them uh, before they can join, if I'm getting kind of open to it, so maybe if we've been in here a while, we have a strong system set up, then I would switch it out. But especially like middle of it, early, no, sorry, you gotta pass. Uh, this is different. This changes though. If the, if like the strangers are another massive group that pose a threat, because then, I I might I would like let them join, but keep, like I I would do some sort of negotiation so we don't get crushed by their like like just aggressiveness anyway what job would you take up in a group of zombie survivors let chief it's always a good job no nothing bad ever happens to that guy except he gets blown off a bridge anyway uh the counselor the protector the scavenger I, if I, if i got to choose it would be that um that or the protector i feel like these jobs are very similar though that's the thing uh, they should be at least, but maybe maybe one of these two, maybe the protector's a better one. Yeah, maybe the protect. No, I'll go with my gut. I'll go with the chief. But yeah, uh, a friend of yours was bitten by a zombie. Uh, what do you do next? Which friend? No, <laughs> uh, try to save them, tie them up, walk away from them, kill them before they can turn. <sighs> oh no. Um. I wouldn't want to condemn them to just, like, a life of, like, <sighs> man, that sucks. That would suck. They were bitten by a zombie. I can't save them. Like, if it was on their arm, then maybe I could just cut their arm off. But they might bleed out. Like, I, it, couldn't, it couldn't be that one, realistically, in this scenario. I wouldn't just walk away from them, though. I wouldn't kill them unless they're already dead. Then I would have to, like, like hit their brain or or tie them up but if i tie them up then they're just kind of condemned to a life of just like struggling and like breaking off their limbs but uh shit yeah it might it might have to be that for early on i wouldn't kill them before they're dead if that makes sense like i would wait for them to die to breathe their final breath and then someone would at least have to like if it's just me then i have to but yeah uh a walker starts chasing you what do you do it starts chasing me what how like when i can run and it can only walk it chases me okay i guess stab it <laughs> uh just kill it i guess right i mean there's really no point to fighting them at all like you just walk away from them but yeah so actually i think i might if it's just one though then i but there's no point in risking that that's the only thing there's really no point unless it's like you, you can't avoid it so i think maybe just leave it alone what villain is the most Okay. I don't think it's the walkers. This is what I love about The Walking Dead in general, is that I don't actually see the show <clears throat> as a zombie show in a way. Like, yeah, there's zombies in it, but I feel like it's more like what what lengths humanity will go to to survive, what lengths people will go to to build a community and what, what we can do when we work together and how destructive it is to tear ourselves apart. Um, obviously, the walkers are, like, I mean, Robert Kirkman has said they're a metaphor for uh, climate change, I believe, and, like, stuff like that. Um, Sam, uh, George R. R. Martin said that, I think, as well, with his White Walkers. But I'm pretty sure, the, like, the walkers and the, the zombies in the, in the TV show and the comics are metaphors for that, or I could just be misquoting. But uh, I think Negan was the most formidable. Um, he really should have won that fight. I don't know how he didn't win that fight. I also don't really understand why him and Rick couldn't just come to a conclusion, but... I. The Terminus Hunters were kind of stupid. Like, yeah, they were they were formidable, but they were just idiots. Um, and cannibals, so... I think Negan. The governor was also kind of just, eh. He, like, the governor could have won. He just killed his entire army off. Uh, so, yeah. Which character would you kill off if you could? Father Gabriel, Rosita, and... Uh, one of these two. I'm not a fan of either of them, really. Uh, Eugene is... Uh, if it... If it wasn't for the last season, it would have been Eugene Easy. But I think with the last season, it might be just Rosita. 
Father Gabriel, I, I like his arc. Um, which of these characters did you mourn the most? Glenn. It, oh, that one really hurt, man. That that hurt. As like a, I've watched the show for so long. And that one really hurt me. Lori can go and die a third time. If, for all, yeah, all three of these characters I didn't really care for too much. And, Andrea was decent. Beth, eh. But uh, Glenn. If it had, like, Abraham in there, if it had Abraham, Carl, Rick, well, Rick's not dead, but Abraham, Carl, Glenn, and, uh, I don't know, like, throw throw another character in there. There's been a lot that died. Um, what's his name? What was that guy's name? Oh, I forget. But you throw those guys in there, that would have been a tough choice. But, yeah, Glenn all the way. <clears throat> Which of these quotes are you most likely to say? I'm going to kill you, all of you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but is gonna. Uh, but nothing is going to change that. Nothing. Oh. That's a good quote. Uh, look, whatever it is you're holding on to, it's already gone, man. Wake the hell up. I couldn't lose anyone. I couldn't lose any of them. I couldn't lose you. So much has happened. So much that we shouldn't have lived through. And despite it, or maybe because of it, we uh, we did. We're still here. They're they're all good quotes. Um, this one might be might be the best. Uh, oh, likely to say sorry. I I didn't read that. Um, likely to say. I thought I meant just which one's the best. I like that one the best, but it, it might be might be one of these. Is this pre or post losing my friend to a zombie bite? Because if it's yeah, it might be that one. Especially if I'm talking about this like tight knit group uh, that I'd be surviving in, it would be that one. Uh, what will you do when all the walkers are defeated? They'll never all be defeated, because when you die, you turn into a walker. Uh, have a nice big plot of land to raise a family on. That's a nice one. This is also spoilers for the comics, so just skip forward like 15 seconds. This is what happens to Carl, because Rick dies in the comics, and Carl's still alive, and he raises his family with Sophia on that. Uh, it's the final comic. Uh, it's, it's a good comic. That's a little, I haven't actually read all the comics, but I read that one because it was the final one, and I was yeah, that, that was a good one. I like what happens to Negan, too. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm back. Uh, help other survivors. Grab a position of power. Travel. Um, that that one would be nice. Either that or help other survivors. Um, yeah. I mean, at this point, you don't really need to help other survivors because all the walkers have been defeated, right? And so, by helping others, you're kind of doing the grabbing the position of power in a sense. Maybe just not being a dictator, but... Yeah, so so maybe, yeah, maybe that one, just retire off. Um, what kind of zombie would you be? A hunger one. Uh, a, a ditzy one, a mischievous one. Are there mischievous zombies? They don't really think. Um, a hungry one, obviously. Uh, what word best describes you? Resourceful, intelligent, tough, or cunning? Uh, I would... Maybe resourceful. Maybe. But if, mm, we'll go with that. We'll go. We'll go with that. Are you a very trusting person? <laughs> I used to be. Uh, you have to prove yourself to get my trust. I pretend to trust easily, but I don't. No, not very. Uh, I think I do extend my trust to people, as long as they don't you give me like a reason not to. You know, like I try to be open in this universe maybe i wouldn't be but as a general st uh, statement maybe that's the best answer i used to be maybe uh who is the most important person in your life my spouse my kids my friends myself my life myself uh if i had kids it would be my kids um what are your friends like they're just like me they're not very much like me but i love them they can be very annoying they're resilient people Actually, I have a very diverse friend group. I have people all over the political spectrum, all over the uh, racial spectrum, like different experiences, anything like that. So I do have a very uh, diverse, in, in many senses of the word, friend group. Um, what is the most important thing to have in the friend? Loyalty, strong moral compass, trust, compassion, understanding. I feel like they have, if they have a strong moral compass, that comes with the trust. But I think loyalty, because I also I, I consider trust part of loyalty and my morality. So, yeah. Uh, or just being, like, trying to trust people is very important to me, um, and having trust. <clears throat> uh, in your friend group, who are you? Uh, the bad boy, <laughs> the sweetheart, second in command, the leader. Uh, it's not really... 
We'll go, we'll go second in command again. There's not really a leader in any of my friend groups, so at least in my mind. So well, I guess we're all second in command then. Um, what kind of people of people annoy you the most? Bossy people, prissy people, pretentious, know-it-alls. Probably pretentious. Oh, but, mm, bossy people can be kind of a kind of a bitch. You know what to deal with. It might be bossy or pretentious. <sighs> pretentious people tend to be bossy in my mind. At least from what I've what I've worked with before. So I'll go pretentious. <clears throat> What scares you the most? Being unsuccessful, being rejected, being useless, being afraid. What scares you the most? Being useless. I think we all have our values. I think we all are, are useful, but to try to provide, I guess, for the betterment of society. And if we don't do that, then... Yeah. What's your current relationship status? Single. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite holiday? Um... I guess Thanksgiving. I don't know. We don't really. Again, my fam my folks don't really celebrate holidays that much. Um, which one or traditional holidays? I should say. Which one of these animals would you want to be? A bear, a tiger, a fox, a wolf. Oh, I'm just remembering uh, the king's tiger. Um, I think a tiger would be sick. Really? That's that is not what I expected whatsoever. Uh. You're a good cop. I, really? Wait. No, yeah, I chose the... Anyway, so I chose the stay-at-home dad, but... Uh, you're a good cop turned bad and the fearless leader. Okay, shit. Rick Grimes, like Rick, you, be you used to believe in the good in people, but lots of things have enlightened you to uh, the true intentions of people, making you a little less naive and a more guarded person, especially when it comes to the ones you love. You are determined, strong, uh, physically and mentally, and there's nothing more you won't, and there's nothing you won't do for anyone you hold dear. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Then Daryl is the other one? Okay, nice. I really, I mean, what they've said, though, is that, like, you know, Rick's coming back for, like, a trilogy. Like, he's not dead dead. Um, like, he is coming back, so it'll be cool. I still don't really quite understand what happened in that episode, though. That he does die. But, yeah. So, final one. This is on the AMC uh, website. So, if this is... Whatever this says is the answer. So, this is the final one. This is... Whatever happens here is the character I am. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, what's your favorite food? Spaghetti. Uh, homemade soup. Squirrel. Something fresh from the garden. Whiskey. Who needs food? Uh... Get some of that spaghetti. Uh, you have you find a stack of old CDs from before times, from from the before times. Which one are you putting on? Uh, you're so beautiful. Uh, hit greatest hits. I was drinking song. That'd be cool. Do they have any funk albums? There we go. As long as it's not Easy Street. Yeah, that's yeah. Something to help me de -stress. Ooh. One of these. One of these. Um, Ice Dragon songs would be so awesome, though. Uh, something to help me de-stress, probably. Uh, so some logic. <laughs> some J. Cole. Uh, what role do you play in your survival group? The scout, the healer, the rebel, the natural leader, the lone wolf, the residential mom, obviously, of course. Uh, I think it would be cool to heal. That would be, that'd be a good, uh, good feature. Everyone needs a healer. Uh, natural leader could be awesome, too. But, uh... I don't think I would be a rebel. I think I would kind of be with the group, especially in this scenario, like try to do what's best for the group. Um, and obviously my kids or, you know, my wife or anything like that are in the group. Then I would definitely want to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah, maybe the, maybe the healer. That could be, could be good. I'll, uh, I'll do natural leader, but I have a feeling if I say this, it's going to skew the answer to Rick. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, but I can get killed by that. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, what's your weapon of choice? Uh, a good old-fashioned gun, sword, gasoline, and a book of matches. That could be good. Morning Star. Jesus. I guess, we'll, I mean, we'll go with crossbow, like I said in the other one, but some of these are insane. Oh, a baseball. You know, a baseball bat actually might not be a bad shout. Or a machete. It's just, you. I, I want something with a little bit of range on it. There's no point in getting up close and personal if you don't have to. But maybe maybe a crossbow, and then you got got a knife in your hole in your holster or something like that. You know, like you 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 do it that way. 
Do you trust other people? <laughs> Only as far as I can throw them. Everyone's innocent until uh, proven guilty. Sure, I trust them to be terrible. Maybe, maybe that one. In this scenario, that's what it would be. Do other people trust you? Don't have the best track record. Depends on the day and the person. Yes, absolutely. So obviously, like I said, I don't, I wouldn't trust other people, and by that I mean like outsiders. Um, so maybe on that it would depend on the day and the person, because like I would hope my group can trust me, but I I wouldn't trust like outsiders. Uh, when are where are you setting up camp? Uh, a cleared out prison, not a bad shout, in the middle of the woods. I said that before. I'd build my own community. That just seems very difficult, but uh, you can do it. You can get it done. An old farmhouse, an abandoned factory, a church. Not a church. Um, not an abandoned factory. That seems stupid. Uh, just both of these kind of seem... There's no value in the land. Like, at least at a farmhouse, hopefully the land is so somewhat fertile. Like, you can grow stuff on it. Um, middle of the woods could be a decent idea. That's more what I would do in the beginning, I feel like. I feel like maybe a cleared out prison because you like like they kind of did in The Walking Dead. You can kind of do the land with that. They probably have a lot of supplies back there, some weapons. They have if you can get a generator running, which a lot of prisons do have, like backup generators. I think I think all prisons do, or at least the big ones. Then you can kind of yeah. So maybe maybe that because you can get some energy going too. Uh, what do you miss most about your life before the apocalypse? Honestly, not much. Uh, yeah. Oh, pets. Oh. My pet is part of my family. <laughs> Do you feel about cowboy hats? Hell yes, hell no. I prefer a different kind of hat. Why not, man? Cowboy hats would be sick. Do you have a fight? Who do you have fighting by your side? My loyal community. My best friend, my spouse. I got, uh, yeah, community. I hope I hope a community, right? Maggie. Okay. Hey, wait, she has a cowboy hat on. Wait, when did she get a car? Is this a... Is it from, like, a new episode or something? Am I not all caught up on the show? I thought it was all the way uh, caught up, but I guess not, because I haven't... I don't think I've seen her come back yet. I know she does come back. I don't think I've seen it, though. So, yeah. Okay, well, Maggie, I got... Who did I get here? I got uh, Rick, Maggie, and Daryl. Uh, Maggie's all right. I kind of, like... She was all right at first. I, I, yeah, but... These are some pretty cool options. I mean, just the shows that uh, I should do a I should do a Walking uh, Dead review or Fear the Walking Dead or something like that. Um, maybe for the last season I'll I'll do that. Maybe something like that. But uh, but th this was fun. I, I love this franchise. Uh, I really wish Rick was still in it. I really wish Carl was still in it. Um, is what it is, I guess. I think they made some serious mistakes, but it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how they end it, cause in the comics it was it was a good ending, but in the comics Rick and Carl were still alive up until the final comic. So uh, yeah, this was uh, this was a good one. I'll see.